Now, continuing with our next topic on the SAP automation testing with Tosca, we are going to look at how we can automate the SAP toolbars. Now, what do I mean by toolbar? Is this particular drop down which you see here, from where you can enter some command and then you hit enter and then it will go into a particular screen like this, which is to create a sales order, right? So this is the initial screen for creating a sales order. And that you can do using, uh, by typing this particular value in this toolbar menu, and then it will take you to this particular screen. Now, apart from uh, hitting enter, which is this in this toolbar, there are also other actions which can be performed like uh, this exit. You can also hit the cancel button and there are some other actions based on the screen type, right? So all of this can be performed from the SAP toolbar. But how do we automate this uh, with Tosca? So with Tosca, we don't need to scan this particular toolbar. There is already a standard module uh, through which we can automate this SAP toolbar. So let's look uh, at how we can do this, okay? So we are going to uh, basically create another test case here. So let's add another test case. And we are going to call this SAP Open Sales. Okay, so this will open the initial sales screen uh, where we can enter the details of it. So we are going to use this test case and then we are going to drag the module. So it is under the SAP folder uh, and it is called the SAP toolbar. Okay, so we are going to drag it into this particular test case. Here we have got two parameters. One is called the transaction code and then one is called the buttons, okay? So there are different buttons here in the value. You will see there is enter, there is save, back, exit, cancel, print, find, find next, uh, find page and previous page. So you can perform all these actions on this particular toolbar using these buttons, okay? And then coming to transaction code, uh, we already looked at one of the transaction code. Uh, which is uh, slash n v a zero one. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, and then uh, I'm going to enter this into the value, and then uh, we are going to hit the enter button here so that we can go into that particular screen. Now, uh, let's go ahead and exit this particular screen, and let's start from the home screen. Now we are just going to execute this particular test case, not the login and uh, other test cases. So we'll mark this as completed here. And then uh, I'm going to run this in Scratchbook. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it typed this transaction code and then um, it hit enter to reach this uh, order screen, sales order screen, right? Now here, uh, we can perform some other actions, as I said, using the action button. So uh, let's go ahead and now let's close this particular screen, okay? So let's rename this test step to enter transaction code. Now we are going to perform another action here once we reach this particular screen. So uh, what we are going to do is we are going to exit this particular screen. So that is one of another buttons which is present in the screen, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and add the SAP toolbar. And this time around, I'm not going to enter in transaction code. I'm going to choose one of the buttons which is present in the screen, which is the exit button, okay? And then uh, I'm going to rename this to exit screen, okay? And then I am going to run this so that we exit this particular screen. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it exited the screen and it went back to the home screen. And then you can look at the Scratchbook also, the results were successful. So this way you can navigate the SAP toolbar using the SAP toolbar module. Uh, and you can perform all the different types of actions using the buttons. Okay, so you can see there are different types of buttons, but depending on of which transaction code you are entering and which buttons are available for that particular screen, you can perform uh, those actions using these buttons.
that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video